Hello, I'm Brigadier General Bill Burks, Chairman of the Joint Diversity Executive Committee. I'd like to personally thank everyone for tuning in today for Nova the National Guard Bureau's second semi-annual virtual diversity update. I personally would like to give a special greeting to one of our roundtable panel members, General Lester Lyles, the Chairman of the Military Leadership Diversity Commission. I can still remember the first time I heard General Lyles speak. I was an action officer working in the Air Force Strategic Planning Directorate, and I was assigned to accompany the head of Air Force Plans and Programs, Lieutenant General Larry Farrell, to speak at the annual Tuskegee Airmen Convention at the JW Marriott in downtown DC. When we arrived, we were ushered to the first row to get ready for the next speaker at the convention, General Lyles. He gave an outstanding speech on the trials and tribulations the Tuskegee Airmen faced then and the trials and tribulations faced by the Air Force today. At the conclusion of his remarks, he was given a standing ovation. His words were an inspiration then, and I know they will also be today. The success of the National Guard cannot be sustained by long term, by individual achievement, but at the extraordinary power of a unified, talented, always ready, always there organization. This is an organization at which leaders at every level are loyally committed to one another and our shared vision of success. I often get asked, why do you think diversity is so important? Well, the answer is very simple. Diversity isn't just important. It is imperative if an organization is going to survive in the future world. The real question that should be asked is how can we, as an organization, possibly do our mission if we don't intuitively or instinctively understand our own people or those in the areas of operations we may find ourselves? The answer is real simple. We can't. If we are to remain the military organization of choice, we must embrace a strategy that is inclusive, encourages innovation, mandates teamwork, and consistently strives to be a best practice. That describes diversity. Malcolm Forbes once said, diversity is the art of thinking independently together. If you think about that statement in its simplest form, it takes us all back to our childhood when we learn that one stick or one thought could easily be broken. However, if you had a group of sticks or thoughts bound together by a common bond, then they were held strong and they were extremely difficult, if not impossible, to break. This is where diversity gets its th strength. Through the inclusion of many, an organization gains its strength. This is why it is so very important for leadership at all levels to demand and stand for openness, diversity, inclusion, and the removal of any real or perceived glass ceilings. We must remember we are better together than we are alone. From diversity of thought to execution, we must have a passion for learning and growing collectively to accomplish our state and global missions. This can only be achieved by the recognition that every soldier, airman, and civilian add value and matter. We all know what has to be done. We have to change the way we recruit by taking a serious look at who we recruit. All of our planning has to include a diversity framework to ensure diversity. Each of us must stand tall and step up to the challenges presented by diversity and be part of the solution to ensure inclusion. We all have to become a learning leader for diversity and inclusion within our respective organizations. It has once been said, if you always do what you've always done, you will always get what you've always got. I encourage strategic thinking, bold leadership, and a willingness to take common sense risk in achieving a lasting legacy of diversity. Lastly, it is about mentorship. Become a diversity mentor. Everyone can make a contribution in this effort. And thank you for participating in today's virtual diversity updates. Next up is Ms. Phyllis Brantley, Chief Diversity and Special Emphasis Programs.